Hey everybody, this is Geo Joe here today with a quick tip tutorial on the GVIP device utility version 8.9.8. .8. This is related to doing a firmware update for your cameras and there is now a very handy feature within the IP device utility that basically allows you to automatically search and find firmware updates that are available for your cameras. Before I get into today's video, if you find the content on this channel useful, please subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up so it can help spread the word about the channel. So again, in the latest version of the IP device utility, we have a very handy feature that now allows you to search the web and find the latest firmware version for your cameras. Now, a quick note on that is it does not work with older generation GeoVision cameras. So if you can see this demo system that I am in right here does have some older generation cameras such as the EFD 1100, the EVL 2100. It's not going to work for those old generation cameras, but for new generation GeoVision cameras such as the EVD 4704, the EVD 8800s and, and et cetera, it will work for those types of cameras. So the way that you do this is whenever you are in the IP device utility and you've scanned and find your cameras, you can go up to this icon in the left that says check the latest firmware. Once you hit that, it will scan through. It'll take a minute and you can expand your columns here and look at the information. It's going to show you the current firmware version that your cameras are on. And then it will also show you the next firmware version that is available that you can upgrade to. So what you can do is you can either hit select all and then you can uncheck any cameras that you don't want to upgrade, or if all the cameras share the same password, then you can just simply leave it all selected and you can then hit upgrade and you can do a mass upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and do it here. It's going to now prompt you for the camera password. You can just hit okay. It's going to download that file. And once the download is complete, it's going to go ahead and apply that firmware upgrade to those cameras. Now, if one of your passwords for your cameras is incorrect, don't worry. It's going to give you a message here within the IP device utility that that camera could not be logged into. So if you have you know, a camera that doesn't have the same password as the majority of your cameras, you're not going to mess anything up here. Um, you'll get a message and then you'll obviously have to determine what that camera's password is. And then you can individually update it on its own. Now, you don't want to hit the X here. You want to just let it go through and do its thing. As you see here, this is a good example where login failed. So that camera is not going to update because it has a different uh, password than the others do. But for our others here, we have the message that says firmware upgrade, and it's showing you here our status. So again, just let this go and do its thing. The cameras will then reboot once this, once this is done, and those cameras will be updated. You can see there we have one camera that's already finished up. It gives you the message that says firmware update finished. And now the others will go through and do the same thing and it will reboot. This has been a quick tip tutorial on the GVIP device utility that shows you how to automatically find the latest firmware and do an update. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.